What if I told you there's a predator sheriff who has been arrested for being predatory against a woman, uh, physically assaulting, sexual assaulting, and he's still the sheriff because he refuses to step down. Put up his mugshot, put up the picture of his mugshot. All right, this is quite fascinating and so damn sad. Vermont sheriff refuses to resign from his position after he was accused and arrested on sexual assault charges. His name is Peter Newton. He's 50 years of age, he's in Addison County. According to the court documents, the sheriff sexually abused an unnamed woman, we're protecting her identity obviously, and allegedly left her with pain and physical bruises, saying no one will believe her if she stepped forward, all right? He's the sheriff. If he wanted to knock on my door and come in, he can. No one can stop him, the woman told police according to the affidavit. He's above anyone, I'm afraid. He has access to these guns. He's a predator, the woman said in her statement to the police. This is someone who abuses their power, their position. It's not just him, it's the entire sheriff's department because they knew he used his position to get women. They knew that, this is all part of the record, part of the affidavit. All right, these are the charges and conditions of his arrest outlined in a statement from the Addison County Democratic Legislative Delegation. It says on Tuesday, June 28th, Addison County Sheriff Peter Newton was arrested on charges of sexual assault, unlawful restraint and domestic assault. Late in the day, he was arraigned and released on a $100,000 bond. Conditions of Newton's release included requirements that he not possess firearms and not engage in law enforcement activities. So after he showed up to court last week for his arraignment, right? He said that he would not resign despite calls saying, hey, I'm still the sheriff, all right? So he's not gonna go anywhere, according to him. This is Addison County High Bailiff. Let's put up the High Bailiff. His name is Dave, David Cyberman. So the High Bailiff has called for the resignation of the sheriff saying it was simply impossible for him to serve the community and law enforcement in a law enforcement capacity under those charges. The Addison County Democratic Legislative Delegation also called for his resignation. Here's part of their statement. It says, and I quote, we agree, we agree with High Bailiff Silberman that Mr. Newton cannot continue serving under these circumstances, all right? As an individual, Mr. Newton deserves a complete investigation and legal due process. However, as a law enforcement officer, the severity of the charges, circumstances of the allegations and conditions of his release are not uh, conductive to his ability to justly lead the sheriff's office, even in a removed administrative capacity. For the safety of our constituents, the residents of Addison County, we must have a sheriff who is competent and trustworthy. We believe that Mr. Newton's refusal to resign is both unethical and unsafe. If the legislature were in session, we would request that impeachment proceedings begin to formally remove Mr. Newton from office. Well, let me go ahead and since you all don't know the rules, uh, Democratic legislation of Vermont, you all can call a special session to do so. I, I just wanted to put that out there if you really wanted to have him removed. All right, Adrian, thoughts here. It is always interesting how there are various avenues for achieving something that would be consistent with uh, what they purport to be in terms of democracy, representing people, ensuring that this individual isn't in a leadership position under these circumstances. Yet they do not take these avenues, uh, you know. And I definitely don't put the onus necessarily on the sheriff because he has had plenty of examples where we've had leaders in our nation who have uh, raped and sexually assaulted people. Yet they've remained in office, and uh, it, we're essentially seeing a different level of audacity. But this kind of stuff goes back all the way to what. Over, Grover Cleveland yeah. uh, back in the late 1800s. So it's it's no shocker here, but it's like that's why we put in these avenues and these mechanisms and opportunities and ways in which we can remove people. So it'd be nice if uh, you know those in positions of power would actually use those mechanisms necessary. And this speaks to the rape culture we talk about in America, where there's this there's this massaging of the details. Uh, there's lip service, but very little action. Everybody's saying the right thing here. Everybody's saying, hey, you gotta resign. But they actually have power and they can do something. They're saying, ah, you know, but if we were just in session, but call an emergency one, you can do that. They're not willing to do it, at least not at this point and not for the victim and perhaps other victims that may be out there from this sheriff.